Mount Everest, melting glaciers expose dead bodies. Expedition operators are concerned at the number of climbers' bodies that are becoming exposed on Mount Everest as its glaciers melt. Nearly 300 mountaineers have died on the peak since the first ascent attempt and two-thirds of bodies are thought still to be buried in the snow and ice. Bodies are being removed on the Chinese side of the mountain, to the north, as the spring climbing season starts. More than 4,800 climbers have scaled the highest peak on Earth. Because of global warming, the ice sheet and glaciers are fast melting and the dead bodies that remain buried all these years are now becoming exposed, said Ang Shuring Sherpa, former president of Nepal Mountaineering Association. We have brought down dead bodies of some mountaineers who died in recent years, but the old ones that remain buried are now coming out. And a government officer who worked as a liaison officer on Everest added, I myself have retrieved around 10 dead bodies in recent years from different locations on Everest and clearly more and more of them are emerging now. Officials with the Expedition Operators Association of Nepal, UN, said they were bringing down all ropes from the higher camps of Everest and Lots Mountains this climbing season, but dealing with dead bodies was not as easy. They point at Nepal's law that requires government agencies' involvement when dealing with bodies and said that was a challenge. This issue needs to be prioritized by both the government and the mountaineering industry, said Damar Parajulai, president of UN. If they can do it on the Tibet side of Everest, we can do it here as well. In 2017, the hand of a dead mountaineer appeared above the ground at Camp 1. Expedition operators said they deployed professional climbers of the Sherpa community to move the body. The same year, another body appeared on the surface of the Kumbu Glacier. Also known as the Kumbu Icefall, this is where most dead bodies have been surfacing in recent years, mountaineers say. Another place that had been seeing dead bodies becoming exposed is the Camp 4 area, also called South Kal, which is relatively flat. Hands and legs of dead bodies have appeared at the base camp as well in the last few years, said an official with a non-government organization active in the region. We have noticed that the ice level at and around the base camp has been going down, and that is why the bodies are becoming exposed. Several studies show that glaciers in the Everest region, as in most parts of the Himalayas, are fast melting and thinning. A study in 2015 revealed the ponds on the Kumbu Glacier, that climbers need to cross to scale the mighty peak, were expanding and joining up because of the accelerated melting. Nepal's army drained the Imjilik near Mount Everest in 2016 after its water from rapid glacial melt had reached dangerous levels. Another team of researchers, including members from Leeds and Aberyst with universities in the UK, last year drilled the Kumbu Glacier and found the ice to be warmer than expected. The ice recorded a minimum temperature of only minus 3.3 C, with even the coldest ice being a full 2 C warmer than the mean annual air temperature. Not all dead bodies emerging from under the ice, however, are because of rapid glacial meltdown. Some of them get exposed also because of the movement of the Kumbu Glacier, mountaineers say. Because of the movement of the Kumbu Glacier, we do get to see dead bodies from time to time, said Shering Pond Tabot. Vice President of Nepal National Mountain Guides Association. But most climbers are mentally prepared to come across such a site. Some of the dead bodies on the higher altitude sectors of Mount Everest have also served as landmarks for mountaineers. One such waypoint had been the green boots near the summit. They were a reference to a climber who dried under an overhanging rock. His green boots, still on his feet, faced the climbing route. Some climbing experts said the body was later removed while Nepal's tourism officials said they had no information on whether the remains are still visible. Recovering and removing bodies from the higher camps can be both expensive and difficult. Experts say it costs $40,000 to $80,000 to bring down dead bodies. One of the most challenging recoveries was from the height of 8,700 meters, near the summit, said Ang Shuring Sherpa, the former president of NMA. The body was totally frozen and weighed 150 kilograms and it had to be recovered from a difficult place at that altitude. Experts say any decision over what to do with a dead body on the mountain is also a very personal issue. Most climbers like to be left on the mountains if they died, said Alan Arnett, 
a noted mountaineer who also writes on mountaineering. So it would be deemed disrespectful to just remove them unless they need to be moved from the climbing route or their families want them.